at a very deep level, I believe that refugees who have already either experienced or lived in fear of persecution, torture, having your family killed, shouldn't be subject to further violations of their basic rights. We have to have a world where when a refugee gets out of that situation, gets out of that place, they're treated as someone incredibly brave and with incredible things to offer and given the chance to rebuild their lives. En Colombia hubo reclutamiento para mis hijos y en una fiesta en un, para un febrero llegaron a mi casa un grupo paramilitar. O sea, nos estaban buscando por lado y lado. Entonces, pues decidí más bien evacuar. Fueron dos hijas que ca casi. In the world today, there are about 21 million refugees. And the system of responding to refugees that we've used for the last 60 plus years has been one that's based on providing people with humanitarian aid that meets their immediate needs while we wait for them to be able to go home. Unfortunately, today, the average time in exile is 20 years, and that number is rising. Refugees are typically not allowed to work and earn a living to feed their families. They're not allowed to attend school or access national healthcare systems. They're barred from everything that would allow them to rebuild their lives. Sasa unapofika hapa kama ulikimbia sababu kwa mfano vita, umekimbia sababu labda kwa usalama wako ni mdogo au labda unafamiwa famiwa, unaenda unaingia kwenye mchakato wa kuomba hadhi ya kisheria ya kuisha hapa hapa nchini. Au kwa kuomba kibali au kwa kuomba hadhi ya ukimbizi. Asylum Access is a refugee human rights organization that's dedicated specifically to making human rights a reality for refugees in multiple countries across the globe. Wanakupa ile hadhi ya muomba hifadhi lakini kupata kama mkimbizi utapatia kule kambini maana ndipo wanapofanya huo mchakato mzima. When a refugee arrives in a country, the first thing they need is some sort of legal status that allows them to stay. Hola. That prevents them from getting detained and deported back to a country where their life may be at risk. So one of the main things Asylum Access does is to help refugees get that legal status. Dicho que han recibido la Respuesta negativa de la dirección de refugio. Sí, sí. nos negaron el refugio. Eh. Bueno, eh, bueno, entonces lo que vamos a hacer, eh, primero vamos a redactar una carta para solicitar este okay. expediente a la dirección de refugio. Para that que... status opens up the possibility of all sorts of other rights. The right to access education, the right to access health care, the right to work, the right to the administrative assistance of the state. Ukijaribu kufanya kazi mtu mwingine anajaribu tu kukutafutia visa hizo asikulipe anajua huwezi kwenda kuripoti kwa sababu gani unaogopa immigration kwa hiyo anakunyima tu mshahara wako We focus specifically on the right to work for refugees because what we've heard from our clients all over the world if I could only work everything else would be better Alikuajiri kufanya kazi for 3 months salary ambayo mtalipana kwa in en el AMSAM. Yeah. Cuando las personas tienen la posibilidad ya de contar con un empleo o de tener una iniciativa productiva que les da la posibilidad de tener un ingreso, sus hijos están en la escuela, tienen sus, sus vecinos son sus amigos y las cosas van como que van tomando forma. Nosotros fuimos a Xilunaxer, teníamos apenas como una semana para poner el, el, el recurso, o sea, habíamos perdido tiempo. Porque lo más importante en general es cuando le negan algo así, eh, es pedir que, que lo hagan por escrito. Bueno, nos deja poco tiempo, pero sí, creo que vamos a alcanzar. A ver, no. si no fuese por la ayuda de Axilun, pues en realidad, prácticamente ya estaríamos deportados. Casi toda persona refugiada cuando huye de su país, viene con una carga de dolor y de desarraigo y pérdida que no es fácil de superar si no se la trabaja. Pero a veces solamente el hecho de que podemos hablar con una persona, que le dedicamos 
una hora, dos horas, tres horas y que estamos presentes en, en su vida, eso le cambia la vida. Es un gran honor para Asylum Access ser recibidos en el pleno de esta, de esta corte. It's really important for Asylum Access to work with governments and through our policy change in the countries where we work and at the global level, I think we are at an inflection point now. I'm doing everything possible as a Secretary General to enable migrants and refugees to contribute to our common future. That's why I convened this summit meeting. Governments are thinking about how to change our paradigm of response to refugees from an aid-based model to a more rights-based model, to a model where refugees are providing for themselves. The changing ideas of people in power about what refugees should experience gives me hope that we can get to a world where refugees are able to enjoy all of their human rights, contribute to their host societies, and rebuild their lives. Thank you.